Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy. Our first taste of Dragon Ball Super Superhero in the game. This of course is the new free-to-play Gohan. Um, we have him at full level 10 links here. And we can go ahead and take a look at how well this Gohan can perform. Um, now there's a couple of things. Number one, you know, don't expect this performance to be too good. Because this is only a free-to-play SSR. He doesn't even have his awakening yet right um but i mean he does have what i would consider the skeleton of a decent unit i do think so of course dude the legendary double like leader and friend rotation what a shock right here right um so let's go ahead and go over this gohan right this is the first of presumably many many characters we're going to be getting from dragon ball super superhero uh you know already i i kind of i like i like the like the the model that they've got right there it looks good like it, you know, it looks fine in game and then of course there's gohan that's that's from his uh battle in the rain with uh gamma one huh okay so notice gohan did three attacks let's just quickly go over what gohan does right so on his super attack effect he greatly raises attack for one turn which is good um his passive is he gets 100 percent attack and defense at the start of turn then he gets 20% attack and defense at the start of each turn up to a max of 58%. So, you know, he will build up as the turns go on. On his first appearance, he does a guaranteed crit and a guaranteed additional, which is a high chance to be a super attack. So we did see the, uh, the triple attack, but we did not get an additional super with it, unfortunately, which he had a 50% chance to. Um... And then he gets 20% attack and defense with each attack performed, and another 20% attack and defense with each super attack performed. Um, and this all eventually leads up to him, um, you know, all these can build up to 58%. So Gohan could have 100% um, attack and defense at the start of turn, then 58%, 58%, and 58% after three turns and three super attacks. Um, so we got unlucky his first turn, right? Uh, remember that his defense was lowered, by the way. It, 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 it's higher than 100k. It was just lowered. And we have most of his links activated except for Brainiacs. Brainiacs is probably not going to be too good of a link on this guy. Um, but I would presume that the reason he has Brainiacs is potentially to allow him to work a little bit better um, with the Piccolos who would come from the movie. That's my guess. All right, so he's up to a 2.3 million attack stat. I mean, I don't... That's not really too impressive still at the moment, I would say. Like a 2.3 million attack stat. Like, no, not not in this day and age. Um, But I, again, I, I could very easily see this Super Saiyan form at least being a decent character. Um, The reason I, I'm pretty sure that Gohan is going to be Dokkan Awakening into a Super Saiyan is that Gohan only has um, five links, right? He has Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Brainiacs um, are the five links he has. So I think it's just very clear that he'll Dokkan Awaken <clears throat> into Super Saiyan. He'll get the Super Saiyan link, and then he'll probably also get the Shattering the Limit link. Um, I think that's what we can expect to see coming um, for our boy uh, Gohan right here, right? So that will be good. Um, in terms of categories, he's on Hybrid Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Goku Family, Sibling Bond, and then, uh, you know, Bond of Master and Disciple. But that's basically, th this is the unit right here. Okay, so this is good. So now on this turn, we'd have those couple of links activated right there. Um, you know, we have him fully built up. Wow, he's up to nearly 300. Yeah, okay. Look at him at nearly 300k defense. This is why, like, you know, a lot of people say, like, oh, so, like, 250k defense sucks and stuff like that it's like yeah because like this is just a, a, a this is an ssr right like th this is not like he's gonna be probably a lot better after he awakens um literally oh wow we got the additional again but literally all he has to do i think to be very effective um is of course you know just give him more stats um but i, I think something like greatly raising defense for the turn as well could be very helpful or even, you know, again, it's it's like the laziest way ever to make these characters um, good. But if he stacked defense, right? Like, you just give him like a defensive, a sta a defensive stacking ability on there, and we're good to go, right? Um, it, either way, it is exciting, right? You know, so 
it's been years since Dragon Ball has had like new content from sort of like the anime or the movie or something like that that they could go ahead and put in the game. And then now here we go, right? We actually do have uh, stuff from the game that, that, that is here, right? Or we, we have new stuff from anime material that's here. Because there, of course, is, you know, all the manga stuff with Granola and Gas and Moro and these types of characters, right? Which is cool, but um, it, it's as, as far as I've heard, um, manga stuff is not allowed to, to be put into the games, right? We're not going to see the manga stuff actually be added to games like that. So, you know, that's just another thing to sort of keep in mind. Um, hopefully, um, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie is like a huge success. Um, and this would lead into sort of like more um, kind of like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, like stuff being added, like, you know, to the anime or something like that. Hopefully we get like an anime uh, continuation later this year. I, I don't know if I would say it's it's likely or anything like that, but I think it's definitely possible. If, if, if the movie, like, explodes, right, in sales and stuff like that, I think it very easily could lead us right back into, um, a, like, another anime, right? And then you think about how good that would be for, you know, Dokkan and these games getting all these characters, right? Like, if they would then cover, like, the Moro and Granola arcs, like, then those characters would come to Dokkan and Legends and Xenoverse and stuff like that. Um, one other thing, too, again, I'm trying to talk about the spoilers as much as I can in not, like, being like, oh, this character is in the movie and he does this and he has this, but more so, like, it is very unfortunate, but remember, it's, you can't really anticipate to avoid a lot of these spoilers if you, because, see, I made a tweet earlier saying that it will be impossible to avoid spoilers. That was mainly directed at the Dokkan community, right? Because, like, if you're directly following Dokkan in these games and stuff like that, all of these, like, the new forms, the new characters, the new attacks, all of it, like, is going to be in these games very soon, right? Like, they don't, they're not going to wait months and months and months um, to put a lot of the exciting stuff from these games uh, or from, from the new movie into the games, right? Especially when they've been sort of starving for a long time. Uh, without having like new exciting content to sort of uh, deliver right so uh, that's why it's just like you know uh, keep in mind that Toei Animation deciding not to do a worldwide release it really did just take a um I, I guess I would say sort of like the awe factor from like basically the worldwide audience besides Japan right so it, it is unfortunate but like all this stuff you know, before we see the movie, we're going to be seeing the new Gohan, the new Piccolo, the big villain. We're going to be seeing all these characters, um, like, in Dokkan, in the Super Attack animations. I think Legends, Legends so far, their anniversary has been really quite bad. Um, and I think uh, one reason that the Legends anniversary is bad is because, like, you know, they knew about all the stuff that was happening in the movie. And they knew the stuff that was going to be dropping from the movie right like into the game so um i i think legends anniversary is probably going to turn out okay once this movie uh stuff drops and i think dokkan dokkan is going to be looking pretty good pretty soon as well um once we get this movie stuff in here too so man it, it does feel good it's like data download and we have you know characters from the movie in the game already it, it is pretty pretty crazy um we'll see um, you know, like how fast they'll, you know, bring in other characters or, you know, we'll, we'll sort of see if like, you know, uh, like which characters are going to be free to play, which characters will be Dokkan Fest. Keep in mind that they haven't really completely expended everything from the Broly movie yet either, right? Like they haven't uploaded everything like, you know, full power Super Saiyan Broly's only got one card. There's no like LR for him and stuff like that. No standalone Gogeta Blue unit. So, I would not be shocked, you know, they'll probably drop a lot of this movie stuff within the next couple of weeks. But, um, you know, I, I think, we, you know, they'll probably save some stuff for later on as well. So, I think we'll probably do one more turn and then we'll finish up. Um, let me know what you guys think of this Gohan. I mean, his performance has not been, it's not too crazy in this video, right? But, I mean, he's, on a lot of these turns, been able to get to nearly 300k defense. To me, that bodes very well 
not for this SSR, but for his Dokkan Awakening, right? I, I think they could very easily make his Dokkan Awakening solid. Um, and then when we consider the fact that um, this Gohan, uh, like, you know, I, I really like his ability uh, to guaranteed crit his first turn and then have the guaranteed additional as well. I think abilities like that can be very helpful in places like Super Battle Road and Battlefield and stuff like that. They give you that little first burst of damage to make a unit kind of solid. So this Gohan, again, he, he looks okay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this if this is only his SSR and he has an Awakening coming in. So uh, let me know what you guys think of Dragon Ball Super Superhero uh, Gohan. He is called Teen Gohan in-game. I have to imagine they might rectify that, but... These base Gohans, that's just what they call them as Teen Gohan, right? So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, whew, man, this movie, there's some exciting stuff. Uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.